it, it, I'll, I'll say I'll say it for you. It goes something like this. So if you're very little and you're here with whoever brought you, hang on to him for a moment. I love the stuff that scared the hell out of you. It gave you a reason to stay under the covers at night. <clears throat> Mooses come walking up over the hill. Mooses come walking, they rarely stand still. When mooses come walking, they walk where they will. And mooses come walking up over the hill. Mooses look into your window at night. They look to the left and they look to the right. The mooses are smiling, they think it's a zoo. That's why the mooses like looking at you. So if you see mooses while lying in bed, it's best just to stay there, pretending you're dead. The mooses will leave and you'll get the thrill of seeing the mooses go over the hill. I remember, like I said earlier, I remember when I was a little kid pretending to sleep, my father would be working on songs. And what he typically did was he'd just be going through the newspaper and he would cut out articles of interest. And he would write down the name of a song that he might want to write. And we've got books full of three, you know, each page got three columns of the names of songs he was going to write. There's not a freaking song in the book. It's just the names of songs he was going to write. And we've got books and books, and he would take the articles and he'd put them on the wall somehow. And he, you know, he'd, he'd thumbtack them or, or glue them or tape them or uh, staple them or hammer and nail, screw them, whatever we had, you know, until we had wallpaper. <laughs> and, and, and that's how he wrote a song. It was about the time that I showed up, around 1947, he was reading a paper about a, a plane that had crashed out in California. And some migrant workers were killed. Nobody's name was mentioned at all, and it pissed him off, and he, and he wanted to write a song about it. It never got to the music part, but he wrote down some words. A decade later, a college student named Martin Hoffman got a hold of the lyrics somehow, put a tune to it, and it stuck. And I was thinking about it the other day. This song was written like, uh, I'm 40-something, uh, 60, what am I now? 63. This song was written 63 years ago, and it sounds like... It was wrote yesterday. I mean, that's the one thing on the on one hand, I guess it's great that you could write songs that have such a great shelf life. On the other hand, it's too bad the world still sucks. <laughs> the crops are all in and the peaches are rotting. The oranges are piled and their creosote dumps. They're flying you back to the Mexican border. Pay all your money to wait back again. My father's own father waited that river. They took all the money that he made in his life. My brothers and sisters come working the fruit trees. They rode the trucks till they took down and died. Goodbye. Deserts. We've died in your 